Good morning. It's um, about 8.30. We just went through our time change, so I'm still getting used to losing an hour. Um, I've been up for, for a couple of hours now. Tabby just got on the bus for school, and Trav just went to his bus stop down the street, and Christopher's in his high chair eating his breakfast, so I have a couple minutes to talk to you guys and introduce my video of gardening. Um, I hope it gives people some ideas, especially those who can't grow or think that they can't grow, because believe me, if I can grow a garden, you can grow a garden. Um, in the past, I've really, really sucked at gardening. It's not that... I think what it is, is anybody can grow a garden. You just have to put the effort into it. Um, I probably put in about an hour a day, um, which might sound like a lot to some, but it's, you really kind of have to put in the effort. Um, I've never really been a huge gardener in the past. I usually get super pumped about it at first and then like a few weeks later I neglect it because the newness is past and um, then I forget to water and then it dries up. And if you live in a city and you have a city ordinance, it sometimes makes it hard to water on certain days. Like here, we're not allowed to water on Mondays, so I can't water today. We could get fined if we water on our non-watering days. So sometimes it makes it really difficult, which is probably a good reason to use additional resources such as like collecting rainwater and bin. Okay. Hi everybody. I just wanted to do a recording of um, my garden to show everybody. I actually planted some cre creeping myrtle and they have these really pretty purple flowers on it and you could actually dry them and put them in incense and they're supposed to heighten psychic awareness. And this right here is my tea tree plant. I'm hoping to build a still soon so that way I could make my own essential oils. And this is Princess, my cat. This is lavender. It's actually French lavender. And I've actually uh, made lavender water out of it or lavender tea for um, wipe solution. And I'm not going to show the rest of my herbs because they're not on my plant stand right now. They're actually out in the sun. But if you see over here, this is actually a plant, or a, um, crap, what's the name of it? Um, hydrangea, like a rose hydrangea plant. And, um, it was dying because snails were attacking it. So I saved it, and I don't think it's going to bloom this year, but hydrangeas are really good flowers to use in, um, incense. And then this is just a rose bush. And then if you see right here these little twigs that are coming up those are going to be sunflowers i've planted them all along this fence there's going to be the really 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 big um, sunflowers the ones that you could um, harvest the seeds and eat i'm going to do it for my bird peanut so that way because he loves sunflowers so okay my backyard is incredibly messy because we're getting ready for a yard sale so ignore the mess Okay, these are herbs that aren't coming up. Well, some of them are, some of them aren't. I don't know why. Maybe I'll redo them again in those jiffy things. This is supposed to be lavender. That one has a thing in it. Seems like everything else died. Oh, no, this one's coming up. That's thyme. There's a little bit of in there. Oh, there's some in here, too. Thyme. Okay, there were camel mill that was coming up, but it doesn't look like my camel mill is coming up anymore, so I'm going to redo that in the jiffy things right here um is kind of like where i started my um the fermentation process i have all sorts of this is what i have left um some cucumber because i'm gonna make pickles because so, i have dill growing so it'll be kind of it'll be pretty cool more cucumbers i think that's corn these two big things are corn pumpkins these are like the big ass pumpkins oh wait, this is pumpkin squash some of them are squash they're like really super huge oh artichokes I absolutely love artichokes so I've never grown artichokes before so hopefully I can do it and these are peas and garden squash 
And these are those little tiny, like the, the Mexican tomatoes. I can't remember what they're called, but these ones are the purple variety. Um, this is going to be where I'm going to be planting the squash and the pumpkins and the watermelon, if the watermelon ever come up. Okay, so this is one of my tomato. I have some of those topsy-turvy things where I'm growing more tomato. Um, this is romaine lettuce, these first two. And the last four, right behind Princess, is bok choy. And then these, like right here, okay, this is a weed, so ignore that. But this, these are cabbage. It's gonna be cabbage. So, this roll, row right here is going to be, um, crap, which one is that one? Oh, um, those are the, um, pinto beans. And this one right here, this row right here, those are going to be peas. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Oh, and then this is what my daughter did. I had a whole bag of poppy flowers and then it disappeared. And then about a couple days later, I found the empty bag and I knew that my daughter had gotten into the seeds. And so she spread them. I don't know if you can see on here all along my shed like all along here so they're all over the place so i'm going to have all these poppies i'm trying to zoom out so that way all these poppies that are going to come up here well i'm glad she just planted she just like threw them down i'm glad they're there and not like in my compost or anything so maybe when they're bigger i might be able to transplant them i don't know yet anyways so let me go back so that way we can get a bigger view of my garden. And that's part, I'm, I'm trying to make that into dry for my compost because I have so much wet stuff in there right now. So that's going to go with my compost. So basically, this is what I have so far. I know my yard is incredibly messed. I'm not even going to show over there because, yeah, it's gross. Oh, and then I'm going to be planting like the corn like right here. We're getting ready for a yard sale, so there's stuff all over the place. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> all right. So I got this really cool stand at Ross, and I just love it. And it's going to be where I keep my herbs. And I made these little signs, but I think I'm going to have to put more tape over them because they're starting to kind of come up. Um, so this, this is my herb garden. I don't know if I can get any farther back. I don't have all my herbs in there yet because um, some of them are still fermenting. But anyway, so I've, I've never grown herbs. Oh, well, I've tr tried on numerous occasions to grow herbs in the past, but they've always died and they've never even ever gotten this big. So I'm very excited about it. I put in a lot of time into, you know, taking care of them. So this is cilantro. This is dill, and I have purple basil, which I've never, I've never grown that at all ever before, and it's really, really pretty. Love purple. And this is oregano, tarragon. Um, this is going to, this is sweet basil, which is my favorite. That and um, cilantro are my favorites. And we have chives in the back. These I, I have already bought. Um, so we have chocolate mint, which they call chocolate mint because the um, of the color of the um, not the of the stems. It's a really really dark brown color. I don't know if you can see that on here. And apple mint. Um, I'm not sure why they call it apple mint. I think it may be because it's that's because they pair it up with apple. Um, but anyways, it actually has a more of a spearmint taste. I grow a lot of mint because I like to put it in my tea. And over here I have strawberries and then I have more tomato plants and these little topsy-turvy guys. So I'm excited to know how those were gonna come out. Well, that's my garden. Hope you like it.